Welcome to SpecView Secrets, the video tutorial series that helps you use SpecView human machine interface software with Watlow products. In this installment, you will learn how to toggle full screen mode, operate the controls on the graphical display window or GDW, use an instrument's parameter list, read the trend chart, generate data log reports, and view recent events with historical replay. In this session, we will use the sample configuration entitled Watlow EasyZone PM Standard Bus. The computer is connected to an EasyZone PM controller and communications was previously established. The full screen option hides the SpecView menu and Windows features limiting operators to items that were deliberately provided on the GDW. From the file menu, choose Toggle Full Screen Mode. The main screen has parameters for monitoring and operating the controller. The PM controller's instrument view displays the analog input value in red and the set point in green. A button labeled SP next to the set point display allows you to change the set point. The button on the lower half of the instrument view opens the parameter list for the PM controller instrument. When you first open the parameter list, many of the parameter values may appear as three X's. That's because SpecView only reads values for parameters when it needs to display or log them. In a short time, the values fill in. The PM controller instrument has monitoring, operation, and setup parameters for the PM controller, including the process value, set point, control mode, and many more. Double-click a parameter to change its value. If you double-click a parameter and the keypad dialog doesn't open, the parameter is probably read-only and cannot be edited. Write-only parameters, such as analog input error reset, are displayed as three X's because while they can be written to, no value is read back. Other parameters displayed as 3x's may be for features not included in your controller. Next to the instrument view, some controller parameters are displayed right on the screen. Some of these can be edited by clicking the parameter's value. The bar graphs indicate the process variable and set point values graphically. Click the buttons next to the bar graph to increase or decrease the set point by one degree per click. Or click the set point bar graph itself to edit the set point. The trend graphs analog input, set point, and heat output power on the vertical axis versus time on the horizontal axis. The scale is color-coded to the legend across the top. Click an item in the legend to set the scale displayed at the left. Click Setup to adjust the scale or change what is graphed on the trend. To export a data log report that can be used in other programs such as Microsoft Excel, click the Log Reports button. Select one of the date and time ranges during which data was recorded. Click Generate to output the report. By default, the data is exported to a file named Log RPT the two digit serial number dot CSV. This file is located in the configuration folder under the SpecView program folder. Normally the program folder is C colon backslash SV32 and in this case the configuration folder is Watlow EasyZone PM standard bus. When you open the file in Microsoft Excel you see it has a column with dates and times and an additional column for each variable that is logged. 
The file contains a row for each set of time-stamped data points. The Event Log button opens the Event Log window that keeps track of what users have been doing and what's going on. The Historical Replay button opens a copy of the current window and the Replay Control Panel. Click minus 1H to begin viewing what was happening on this screen one hour ago. Select a rate greater than one times to speed up the replay. This can be especially helpful if something happened when no one was looking. Click Pause to pause replay. If you have purchased the Historical Replay option, you can go back and look at any period of time that SpecView was running. Without that option, you can go back up to four hours. Click Play to resume. Click Close to close Historical Replay. We hope you have found this installment of SpecView Secrets helpful. We will explore some more of the topics just touched on here in more detail in other installments.